So this is what we doing. Here we go again. Here we go again, bro. The same thing he tried to do in 2016 to get him to the Cavaliers. But KD ended up going to the Warriors and ruining his whole little goat shit. Now he's trying to get KD on the Lakers or whoever trying to uh, come up with this. Kevin Durant for D'Angelo Russell, Rui Hachimura, Torian Prince, Max Christie, and two first-round picks. Like I said, if KD was to do this, he's not even in my top 25 no more, bro. KD in my top 20, but he's not in my top 15. I just don't. I can't give it to him. He's had way too much help and not been able to win like he should now. Brooklyn, I understand they was injured, all of that. But Phoenix... Come on, bro. He don't win. If he don't win with Phoenix. Ain't no excuse. I don't want it. Y'all signed Bradley Bill. Y'all didn't have to sign him. Y'all could have went and got some. Y'all could have went and got other pieces. But this is what we doing. Every year, y'all gotta find some trade to get this man another superstar, so he can get. Y'all want him to get the fifth ring so bad, bro. So bad that y'all came up with a dunk like tournament. Y'all came up with a tournament. Now you trying to get Kevin Durant. Or people pr proposing this trade. Just because somebody frustrated. Don't mean they want to play with gold, play with LeBron. <laughs> wow. It's amazing. They go to no lengths to try to get this man some help. And the uh, Lakers fans think they supposed to trade. They supposed to have anybody that's on the trade market. That's the hilarious part. I told you. But I could, once again, I could have sworn the Lakers had the best offseason, though. They made the best acquisitions, everything. What happened to all that? It's the same movie, different actors. They start off slow. Then they pick it up and get on a little winning streak, which was the in-season tournament this year. And everybody get fooled. Then on top of that, uh, they start losing and getting their ass whooped. And the role players not not showing up or being inconsistent because ain't no continuity. You keep overhauling the whole roster every year, so now they got to see who they can get a trade package. I was hearing it was Zach Levine. Now that Kevin Durant, the stuff that got leaked out that Kevin Durant is frustrated. Oh yeah, 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 we can get Kevin Durant. Like, bro, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Seriously, it's disgusting. No, I'm not even lying to you. But truth be told, this might be a good this might be a good idea for the Suns. If you want me to be honest, they might do better with the Suns. These four guys, they might do better with the Suns. Instead of being in the in the little system. But in hindsight, if I'm Phoenix, hell no, I ain't doing this. Why the hell will I trade a top 20, top 15, 20 player for four role players? And Bradley Beal is still injured. And what is going to be Devin Booker? I mean, D'Lo can be a third option. Rui is nice, too. I like Rui, too. But I'm not doing this if I'm Phoenix. Now, like I said, if I'm the Lakers, hell yeah, I'm trying to do this. If I'm KD, I'm not stepping towards LeBron James. And KD has already said that it's toxicity around him. Y'all trying to make up these trades to help. You got help. You got two players averaging 15 points per game. 
AD averaging 25 and 12. Come on, man. Here we go again. We need more help, part two. 